Curved TV are almost extinct in the TV world as of 2021. Although they were easily available in the mid-2010s and Samsung offered a healthy selection, only a handful of models have curved screens now. They were introduced to help offer a more immersive viewing experience, as manufacturers claim the curved edges allowed the screen to occupy a wider area in your field of vision. However, a curved TV is only beneficial if you're sitting close to the screen and you're the only one watching it, as those watching from the side may see a distorted image. This article explains the differences between flat and curved screen TV and their advantages and disadvantages. Viewing angle, both flat and curved screen TV have their own advantages and disadvantages regarding viewing angles. However, the panel type affects the viewing angles more than the curvature, so that means two TV with the same panel type, regardless of their shape, should have the same viewing angles. However, the flat screen loses its image accuracy uniformly across the screen. This means that if you're watching from the left side, the left edge looks as inaccurate as the right edge. You don't get the same effect on a curved screen as if you're watching from the left side. The left edge will look different from the right edge, and the left side may even be hard to see at very wide angles. A curved screen can be advantageous if you sit really close, especially if you use it as a PC monitor. On a flat screen TV with narrow viewing angles, the left and right edges appear darker and washed out if you sit too close. However, the curved screen helps bring the edges within your field of vision, so they may not appear as inaccurate. Due to their shape, flat and curved TV handle reflections differently. Light on the curved TV is stretched across the screen, covering more space. However, reflections are harsher on the flat screen because of how it reflects directly back and doesn't stretch across the screen. Some people may simply prefer the reflection handling on curved screens more, but choosing one over the other really comes down to personal preference. The biggest reason to get a curved TV would be because you enjoy the look of it. One thing to keep in mind, though, is that curved TV are a bit bulkier in the back, combined with a difference in shape. This can make mounting a TV to a wall a bit trickier. As of the start of the 2020s, curved screens are practically a thing of the past. Samsung was the only major retailer to release a curved TV in 2020, and even at that, they only released one model. Their last premium curved TV was the Samsung Q7C and slash Q7C QLED 2018, and since then, all of Samsung's QLED models are flat. Curved TV used to cost a premium over their flat equivalent, but the Samsung TUI 1300 only costs a bit more than the Samsung TUI 1000, so there's no real difference between them. If you're buying a TV in 2021, it's more than likely that you're going to get a flat screen. TV manufacturers once jumped on the hype train of curved screen TV, but they've since booked a one-way ticket back to the flat screen world. Having a curved screen over a flat screen doesn't offer any real advantage in terms of picture quality, and curved screens are actually a worse choice if you have a wide seating arrangement because you can't see the edges properly from the side. There are a few advantages of a curved screen over a flat, like the screen appearing bigger if you sit close, and reflections not being as strong, but there are minor differences. There are only a handful of curved TV being released as of 2021, so it's likely your next TV is going to be flat anyways. We are going to end this video right away. If you have any query or information to share, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.